Hey guys, I'm Inez and I'm together with Lewis who's behind the camera. So today we're at Sisters Island and we're going to be exploring the intertidal zones. So Lewis, are you excited? Awesome! Okay Lewis, you want to go ahead and explain what's an intertidal zone? The intertidal zone is the part of the shore that is submerged high tide and revealed at low tide. Singapore may be highly urbanised with our busy ports and shipping lanes, but we are in fact a city in nature. Who would have thought that our southern shores would still be bustling with life? Thanks Lewis, so we know this thanks to our southern islands by diversity survey. So the tide is low now and we can head out to go see the animals. Remember the habitat is pretty fragile so we have to tread really carefully and also to wear covered shoes in case of any sharp objects. Alright, let's head out and see what animals you can find. If you think there's nothing on our shores, try looking again. Look at all these star-shaped markings. Flip them over gently. These are actually sea stars! Commonly known as starfish, but that's actually incorrect because they lack gills, backbones or scales as you can see. Now let's put them back. We should always put animals back where and how we found them. Notice how I held it by its central disc and not its arm, as it might feel stressed and drop its arm, just like how a gecko loses its tail. Okay, let me show you guys my really squishy friend. Over here we have is a long black sea cucumber. He's one of the longest sea cucumbers we can find in Singapore, but they're not like the ones that we eat in, our di in Chinese dishes. So these guys are related to sea stars. So over here we have the mouth and over here we have this the anus. So with the mouth, they actually have feeding tentacles that protrude out of their mouths and they try to catch all the food particles inside the water. But if you ever see these guys around our shores, don't pick them up because when they get stressed out, they tend to eviscerate and that means they vomit out their guts. But aside from the long black sea cucumber, we have a bunch of other sea cucumbers in Singapore. So let's go ahead and find more. Alright, so what we have over here is called a mushroom coral. So contrary to popular belief, these guys are actually animals and not plants. So why are they not plants? Well, they actually have a best friend called Zuzantale, which is a type of algae that lives on the coral, and they photosynthesize to produce food for them. But what does the algae get from the coral? So the coral actually provides shelter for the algae. But for this specific species, they actually have tentacles around their body, which they also use to catch food particles in the water. Two species of marine turtles can be found in Singapore. We visited the turtle hatchery and were lucky to witness the release of critically endangered Hawksbill turtle hatchlings. The hatchery provides a conducive environment for turtle hatchlings to incubate, hatch and make it out to sea safely. Hopefully, this will increase the chances of survival for these charismatic reptiles. Wow, what a great trip! We saw so many cool animals and we got to see the release of turtle hatchlings all in one trip. If you guys want to see a coral rubble in tidal habitat, you guys can hop on a boat to St. John's Island or Kusu Island. Or if you guys want to volunteer with the end parks, participate in our biodiversity beach patrols. There's so much more to see in our shores, so come down and discover these tidal treasures for yourselves. Alright, see you next time! <laughs>